Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for Isn't It Romantic? So Isn't It Romantic is a movie starring Rebel Wilson where she wakes up, she hits her head really hard and she wakes up in a world that is a romantic comedy where everything is nice, everything looks beautiful, and a bunch of hot guys have the hots for her. And it's about her trying to fall in love with her gay best friend roommate. And all along the way, she's discovering the true meaning of love. So isn't it romantic? I pegged as my number one least anticipated movies of 2019. I would have rather seen any other movie than this, but I saw it because I see everything, because if I don't, I feel weirdly guilty. So I saw this in theaters and it was pretty bad. It was nowhere close to as bad as I was expecting. And when reviews started coming out and the movie was fresh for a while on Rotten Tomatoes, I was thinking that possibly we we're gonna get an okay, maybe even entertaining movie out of this, but it is still very, very dumb. This is very much a not well done movie. And that has a lot to do with Rebel Wilson in the movie. I just don't think that she's funny, personally. I just don't think she's funny. I don't think that she can lead her own movie. She, Her whole thing is just a lot of falling and a lot of clumsiness, and that doesn't really make a character who they are, and that doesn't really make a good actor, and that doesn't make a good performer, so it just kind of feels awkward when she's on screen, and my biggest issue with a lot of the comedy is that it's just awkward, and it doesn't feel quite right. And the worst thing that a comedy can do is just make you feel awkward and make you feel weird while you're watching it. That's the worst thing that a comedy can do. And the fact that this movie does that is terrible. It's horrible. And I, I think that that's probably the biggest re reason that the movie suffers. It's Rebel Wilson and the fact that the comedy is just so weird and wasn't ever funny. And the worst part was it was also very predictable. You knew every punchline before it was coming, which was the reason it wasn't funny. You knew every single punchline. You knew what the character was going to say afterwards. And it seemed like she just didn't care. And the movie has a very like cliched, well-known, you've seen it a million times structure. And the thing about that is that the movie is about being a romantic comedy, right? So it should be excused for that reason, but I wouldn't excuse it because the movie is supposed to be making fun of romantic comedies. Like that's the point of the movie. And th the fact that it follows every single formula that romantic comedies do and it follows it line for line, it kind of invalidates the point of the movie because it's supposed to be making fun of romantic comedies and how they don't work. And yet in the end, this one works and it's, it's just very bizarre. And the other negative thing about it was that the message in the movie that they have at the end comes out of nowhere. I think it's a good message and the message like that should be in the movie, but the problem is if you're going to have a message in the movie, you need to have your story have it building up for a while. It needs to be from scene one to the point of realization that the theme of the movie is subtly implemented in there, and it isn't at all. It, it isn't in there at all. So when Rebel Wilson at the end of the movie just stands and talks to directly to the camera telling what the moral of the movie is, it's it, it, it just comes out of the blue and it doesn't make any sense in the context of the movie. It felt like the people who wrote this didn't know anything about filmmaking. They didn't know what it was supposed to be. They didn't know anything about comedy. This just feels like a very, very amateur movie to me and I didn't think that it was very well done. I don't think it's particularly terrible. I wasn't bored and it wasn't like cringe worthy awful the whole time. I just didn't enjoy watching it. I will give Isn't It Romantic a 3.5 out of 10. All right, that concludes my review for Isn't It Romantic. So what are your thoughts on this film or what is your favorite Rebel Wilson movie? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm Robert Burke and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.